Let's have a look at what we can do with the team members element that is included in the Jet Elements add-on from Crocoblock if you are Element Page Builder user. Jump into Elementor and we search for the team member, which if you just type it, it will give you this one widget that you can drag and drop. Let's first look at the concept that you have to get around your head here. If you work with the testimonial, you can add many members or many testimonials to that one widget. But in this, it says team member. Let's, let's be now technical. It doesn't say team members. So with this widget, you can only add one team member at a time. That means that you have to style one and then duplicate it. So I don't want to work with such a huge image over here. So let me go delete this just to start from the beginning. And I'm going to place four team members next to each other. I want to make my section a little bit bigger, edit section, and I'll increase it here to about 1,200 pixels, give it a little bit more space. And my columns gap, I'm going to make it narrow. So there's a little bit less space between these. Now I go into my elements and look for team member again, drag and drop, and it will load it. And from here we can begin to start with how we want to present our team. So the team that we are working with here, this is basically the normal thing you are introducing your team. Let's choose here. And her first name today is Sarah, Sarah. And then over here, last name, Derange. And the position is, let's call her main boss. Description, she has exceptional experience or skills in coloring between the lines and collecting seashells. One word or two words? One word, there we go. So there we have our name, Sarah Deranged. Then there is still this one called main box. Is, uh, not box, boss, main boss. And then over here, the description of what she has done or a little bit about her background. If she has a Facebook account, you can add this here. If you would like to do that, if your company does that, be careful, just adding people's social media for the whole world. There is an option here that says label visible. If you click on this one, you will notice that now the Facebook label will appear here. I think this is highly redundant unless you want to remove the icon and just put Facebook in there, for example, like this. If you want to do that, then you can have that option. I prefer when we are working with things like Facebook, rather use the icon and not the label. It's just standard practice of what we are doing here now. And you will add the link there. Same here is Google Plus for the five people that still use Google Plus <laughs> and then Twitter. I know you're going to shoot me for that one, but yes, I, I'm often, I see Google Plus on profiles, I click on it. And when I go to those people's site, they didn't update it for five years. They signed up for Google Plus when it came out. They haven't done anything since then. So I haven't really met anyone super active on Google Plus. I'll probably prefer Instagram here rather or LinkedIn, something like that. Then you can add a button. You can, if you want to just give a short profile of this person and you want to have a link to this person's website maybe or to their own page, this is where you will do it. I'm just going to put a placeholder in there and then it will create the button for us. Let's say find out more, find out more to find out more about Sarah Deranged, Deranged, right? And that is your info. This is the content. I like it when things are done well. Content is content. There we go. Let's go style it a little bit. And I want to go first to all of the content here. So general, I'm going to skip. I'm going to go to name. And what I would like to do is place everything here on the left. So let's just do everything on the left. Description also on the left. To the left, to the left, everything on the left, to the left. And then our action button also to the left. So for the color of the action button, let's style it a little bit. I'm going to grab up here my color pick eyedropper, which is a Chrome extension. Click on it and then hover over here, grab an orange over here. 
control C, command C to copy it, and then go and close it out. Go back to my action button, and then the background color, click on that, and paste that in there. You see? Immediately, it looks good. So we have to do the same for our social buttons. Oops. Social and icon color. There we go. We can put a background color. Let's see if we do that. And then icon, icon box size, we increase that. There we go. Things are starting to look good, JP. People might confuse you for a professional. <laughs> and then let's also go and change the position color to the same one that we've copied. It's always good to rip yourself off. The description, I think, is way too thick. Let's go for a thinner t one over here. I'm going to use something like Open Sans for that. And then let's make the size. Many people are going nowadays for 16. There used to be a time we all went for 14. Nowadays, I see the trend is 16, especially for the smaller screens. So yeah, something you have to decide, what is your personal preference? Weight, going to bring it down. That's more of the way I like it. And then for my line height, let's see what is 1.1. No, that is too small. And someone asked me just the other day, what is my standard go-to line height? Y yes and no, you cannot do that. There's no standard go-to. I usually go between 1.1 to 1.4. It depends on the size also of your font as well as your typography. Each one has different leading, kerning, and, and things like that. You have to go study up a little bit about that on typography, but this is not a a golden rule or a rule of thumb that you can say line height is 1.2. You'll have to go and check it for yourself. So what we have here is an excellent, excellent team member profile. I love it. You can then add a space here, probably, I think, for that. Let's add a space here, up here. Oh, no, 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 you cannot because this is an element. What am I thinking about? I was thinking I'm building my own one. Let's click on this, and then what we're going to do is go to Style, Let's go to our action button and then for the margin, we're going to unclick here and then where is top? We're going to, there we go. Woo! -hoo, something worked again. Right. Another feature that I quickly want to show you that you can also work with in this one is that you can actually place almost all of this over the image. And there are cases that you can do that when you have a portrait photo of the person and you have more space, for example, you have more body here, then you can place all of that over the photo. So what you will do is, all the way from the name downwards, you will see this option, Display in Cover. And if you click on it, you'll see that the name Sara Deranged now switches over to the image. And this is where you will have to go and play around with padding. This is a very nice option a nice alternative to the normal team member profile that you can work with. Now you're going to populate the other columns with this. So it's going to be a duplicate or you can just say copy and then you can go ahead and paste them. Next thing you have to be aware of is your image size. So I have been working with a ratio of one to one. The images that I brought in is one to one. So my sides are the same length all around, same ratio. So if I click now on this one and I want to style my next team member, which is also a one-to-one, -one, you will see it will work very nicely. You won't have any problems with styling. He will come in straight and he will fit in very well. If, however, you use an image that is not the same proportion, the ratio is different, then the following is going to happen. This guy that does a Steve Jobs pose this is going to happen. And this is why I always talk about asset management. And when I talk about asset management, it's the media that you use for your website. Many people just bring in their photos and then they want to do all the optimization and all the fancy stuff within the page builder. You have to learn how to do that things before you go in. It just makes your workflow so much easier. But there is a workaround that Croco Block Jet Elements allow you for if you run into a situation like this. And that is you have to go to this option under Style and you go to Image and you say Custom Size. Now it will allow you 
to set the image at the size you want. You can go with the width. So let's say, I think that's, let's make it 300, but I think it's going to go over the edges. So let's make it 290. Okay, 290 is good enough. And then for the height, we're going to keep it square 290 so that I can do the same with the Steve Jobs wannabe. Go to style and go again to image, custom size, and then we type in 290 and 290. Now you see you have achieved that, that they all look nicely the same. And you can go check it out on your responsiveness for tablets as well. You will have to play around with your columns. Columns is an issue now here. Okay, so this is something now you've set that. You see the problem runs in here. So you have to go change your columns on that. On this, it will display. Okay, remember, we have to also change this one to image, custom size 290, ooh, 290, and 290. Then they will look the same. However, I recommend, like I did say earlier, get your images correct before you bring them in. If you know you're going to be using them in a similar thing, make sure that the aspect ratios are all the same before you bring them. There's a lot of applications out there that are free. I can recommend many of them. I, I own too many of them as well. But there are so many applications online for free that you can go and do cropping. Make sure that those photos are the same. It will just reduce your frustration once you come into page builders. This team member element from Crocoblock, I highly recommend if you are working with team members or if you want to introduce board of directors for your company, you want to show your staff at your company, this is a very nice way of doing it. It has everything in there that you need, the name, the title, a description, your social media, and then a find out more button or a link to their own personal page or a page on the website. Hope this was useful. Hope you have enjoyed it. Any recommendations and suggestions, please leave it below. This is Jape here with Websites for Beginners.